Hi everyone, this is Dave Kruger from DMK Tutoring here for WiseAnt, and today we are going to be talking about how to find an expression for the rate of change of the volume of a sphere by calculus methods. So, to begin with, when we are trying to find the rate of change of a quantity, we first need to write an expression that we use to calculate the value of that quantity. And in this case, since we're talking about the volume of a sphere, you might remember that the volume of a sphere is given by the expression 4 thirds pi r cubed, where r is the radius of the sphere. And in order to calculate the rate of change of that volume over time, we're going to need to take the derivative of that volume expression with respect to time. So. Uh, since the radius is the only quantity in this expression that is actually a variable, right, pi being a constant, we can take this derivative by using the power rule. We bring the exponent 3 down and multiply it by the constant 4 thirds pi, which leaves us with just 4 pi, and then we decrease it by 1 and the exponent turns into a 2. Now, um, remembering that the radius is implicitly a function of time here because we are told that the radius increases over time in proportion to the temperature of the glass, we need to remember to multiply by dr dt here because our derivative is with respect to time and since the radius is implicitly a function of time, the chain rule says that we need to multiply by a dr dt here. So, um, the only question that we have left now is to figure out what is this dr dt and how can we use this term to incorporate the temperature of the glass into our expression for the rate of change of the volume over time, since we're asked to write that expression in terms of both the radius and the temperature of the glass. So, um, when we are told that the radius increases in direct proportion to the temperature of the glass, Direct proportionality means that a quantity is just equal to a constant times the thing that it's proportional to. So we can say here that dr dt, the rate of change of our radius, is equal to some constant, we'll call it k in this problem, times capital T, which is the variable representing the temperature of the glass. And we can see that as the glass gets hotter, as capital T gets bigger, the rate of change of the radius with respect to time would go up. So since we now have this expression that represents how the radius changes over time with respect to the temperature, we can substitute that expression in for dr dt in our derivative. And we wind up with the final answer expression dv dt is equal to 4 pi r squared times kt. And we can see that this is a function of both the radius and the temperature of the glass and it incorporates this constant that we would need to quantify the relationship between the radius and the temperature of the glass. So I hope that explanation was helpful. If you are working on other problems like this one or have more questions about how this works, uh, definitely find me on Wiseant and send me a message and we can find a time to do a session together soon. Thanks very much for watching and I hope that was helpful. Thank you.